scoreboard and it goes in and of course they go up two points. They're up two and the crowd is going crazy, confetti's coming down, I mean it's loud in the place. And Kim Hampton would not pass me the ball. She's already upset like we've lost the game. So I'm screaming, Kim, pass it, throw it. She threw the ball to me and when I let it go, no one was in sight. Tina Thompson came late. No one was in sight and when I left it, when it left my hand, I knew it was good. Mm. I knew it was good when it left my hand. Pastor, that was only a blessing because in that year, that was probably the toughest year I had of my life playing in the game of basketball. Mm. So I know that wasn't nothing but a blessing to God to tell me I'm still here. Dang, yeah. Now, we're going to wrap up, but I got I to gotta say this. I want you to, to, to elaborate on something you said. You said Kim Hampton mm -hmm. was acting like the game was already over. Yeah. And you told her what? It ain't over till it it's over. It ain't over. It ain't over. It ain't over. Listen, listen. Here's what I want you to do. If there's any words that you could share with someone right now, you said that, that was the toughest year of your life, and yet you came off one of the greatest plays in WNBA history, in the toughest year of your life, right? I, what are some words you could give someone um, who is on their journey right now and who has great dreams, but this may be the toughest year of their life? Be true to the person in the mirror. If you can be true to that person in the mirror and try to live the life for others to win, there comes explosive blessings. Wow. Wow. Only then will explosive blessings come. It cannot be about just you. But when you start to understand that this life that you live, that you can't believe everybody else's report. You gotta believe one person's report, and that's God's report. People are gonna say whatever they wanna say about you. But you gotta remember this, that no weapon formed against you. You can finish that. That's right. that's right. Listen, listen, I see you got some goodies for you. Yes, yes I do. I'm, I'm nosy. Pastor said that he was staying in shape. He just told me a story. I'm not telling on him like he was trying to tell on me. But I'm gonna make sure he stays in shape. So, for, see the ball I always want to get away because I'm always trying to give an assist. <laughs> I don't want to take his shorts and wear his shorts when he play. He's some, and and these, right. are, these are not yours because you have to share. These are from the Keisha's. <laughs> He's New York Liberty. Come and on. normally when he play ball, he try to play his little arms out, trying to show that he got a little... No, hold on, hold on. So I made hold sure on. that he's ready. Hold on. I made no. sure he's ready. But let me say this. How do you know that? Because you don't know I play ball. Oh, he played ball now. Watch it. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> don't get it twisted. <laughs> Listen, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Listen, let's give it up for Teresa. Thank you so much. With a scroll. Listen, I hope you understand why we are doing the journey. I want you all to hear from people who have done great things, but also come through some great things to encourage us. Because sometimes, as she said, we think that our dreams can't come to pass because this may be the toughest place in our life right now. But just like you saw in that video, the toughest season of your life may be a setup for the greatest moment in your life. Amen? Listen, 11.30, we got it. Every third Sunday will be the journey. This is Social Media Sunday. Make sure you are tweeting right now, live tweeting, putting pictures, all right? And don't forget, on this journey, on this journey, the contradictions of life are not final. All right? Let me see y'all. Come on, man, let's go.